Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So my sister, let's talk about learning how to expose yourself. I don't mean that exposed. Come on now. Come on now. I know I went there too, but listen, I, I heard this. I've been, you know, I, I listen a lot to Gary Vaynerchuk. If you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is and you have any kind of interest in business, social media, marketing, branding, uh, self-awareness, uh, Gary V is it. Um, his podcast I listen to religiously and it's funny, right? As a podcaster, I actually don't listen to any podcasts because I just, I got a lot going on. And so I'm also very careful about all the input that I put in. I, I don't want it to be so heavily influenced that I don't have space to have, to create my own. But there's a lot of influence I get from Gary Vee. He's one of the few people I listen to when it comes to business. And so Gary Vee said something the other day and I instantly just went like, oh my God, I got a podcast about this talking about exposing yourself. And what he means by that is no, not getting naked. He's meaning to expose yourself to really show who you are. And this is what I want to speak into today with you, sister. And there are so many of you, and this may be exactly you, that you're thinking, oh my God, if people really see who I fucking am, like, what if they don't like me? What if they reject me? If I really show my husband, my kids, my best friend, my family, who I am, they think right now I'm someone different because I've been pretending and showing up as I think I'm supposed to show up, but that's not really me. So what would happen if I really exposed myself? The majority of the world is terrified to do this because of fear of judgment, because of fear of rejection, because of, you know, what if, what will happen? How will this change my life if I actually show up as who I am? And like this week, I heard a song by the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I have, you know, I have women and men listen to the podcast anywhere from their 20s to like 60s. So if this re- this reference does makes no sense to you, just Google the Goo Goo Dolls. It was a great song that was out in, let's see, I want to say like the late 90s. And um, the lyrics go like this. I'm going to save you from my singing today. Um, and I can't remember what the song is called, but it goes like, I don't want the world to see me because I don't think they know who I am. Uh, I think and then it goes like, everything's meant to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. So I remember in my late 20s when that song came out, feeling very much that way. The story that I spin for years and a couple decades until my early 40s was like, well, nobody gets me. Nobody understands me. I don't want to, I don't want to expose myself. I don't want to show the world who I am because they're not going to get me. They're not going to understand me. So I'll just kind of numb it and squash it and show up the way that I think I'm supposed to show up. And I'll somehow, in my mind at the time, think that I'm safer that way. I'm protected. See, I, I built a big fucking wall which in my early 20s began with very much a bravado of like, fuck you, I don't give a shit. That's really morphed into who I am now, and there's, there's truth in it now. Before, it was more of a, of a facade. I, I mean, I really couldn't realize it and, and understand it in, the, in that time, but when I reflect back now, decades later, I'm like, mm, yeah, that, that pretty much was. I can remember kind of feeling like nobody really understands me or gets me. So how about I'll just say like, fuck you. And, you know, I'm going to just show up as the bitch. And, uh, and then nobody will really want to get close to me. And like, that'll be cool. Because I'll just build this big wall of Fort Knox that nobody will ever fucking get in. And I'll show little pieces of me. I'm not going to hide. I'm very much an extroverted person. I like being around people. But I'm just going to show a little bit of me. And nobody will get to really see the real me because fuck you. Nobody really, again, as a kid growing up, I didn't ever really felt heard. I could run through all the shit. Youngest, family of three, two older brothers. Everyone was really loud in the family. I was one of the only girls in like my entire like extended family. Drowned out by all the boys. Expose yourself. 
when I decided, I started really this journey about five and a half years ago of, you know, I feel like I have this message inside of me. If you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you've, you've heard me share this story before. And I really, I started to feel it in my late 20s. In my early 40s, I went, maybe I should fucking explore this. Yeah, maybe, Karen, because you've just wasted the past fucking 12 years. If you hear anything from this episode today, my sister, it is this. Do not fucking delay on shit that the voice is telling you. I don't look back and regret. I don't blame myself. I, I don't have any things about it. It's just simply an observance of what is, which is I wasted a fuckload of time. It brought me to different places, and that's okay. But don't feel that you have to go down the same path. Save yourself time. So when I finally decided in my early 40s of like, I'm really exploring this and started to write and did blogs and video blogs, my first podcast, now this podcast, and tried creating online products and really started to create content like incessantly on social media several times a day and um, learned and studied and hired coaches and, and really started to get clear on the things that I wanted. And, and it became, you know, the first five and a half years, it wasn't just like, like a bandit. You just kind of like tear right off. You're like, bah, here I am. You can do it that way. You can. I know I got to a point about two and a half years ago. I was just like, it was like, it was like take, it was like chipping away, right? It's like chipping away at something where it'd be like a little bit more of me, a little bit more of me, a little bit more of me. But two and a half years ago, I just went like, fuck this, burned all the ships. Like, let's just go. And I came out pretty hard. And there were some people that I pissed off during that time. And and, you know, maybe it was done in a way that not everyone would really understand, but it was, it was necessary as part of, as part of my process. Again, I don't judge it. I don't say that was a bad thing to do. It's, it's what, what I need to do at the time. And I've continued to go down that path at times when it's needed, it's necessary. But two and a half years ago, really more like two years ago, I started to really show up. You know what? When I really examined this closely, sister, it was with this podcast. And this podcast came out two years ago. Two years ago. I think I actually missed the two-year anniversary of that very first episode. Fuck. Yeah. Because when I'm recording this right now is August the... What the hell the, August the 18th. I want to say it came out on the 11th? I gotta, I'll, I'm going to fact check that one. So it's been two years. And I remember this podcast coming out. And what I started to create, I was like, yeah, this is 1,000% me. And it was the most freeing feeling in the world. See, when you expose yourself, it's for you. There's such freedom in, number one, knowing who you are. Number two, accepting who you are. And number three, actually acting on who you are. So this is going to morph into the more tip here today. And this is, this is a short episode, but I, I think this is short and sweet today. This is what's needed. So I want you to pull out your journal. I mean, really, insight happens when you write, when you get clear and honest. I have people all the time that will say to me, well, what are the best steps to and what are your strategies? None of it fucking matters. It, it all works and it all doesn't work if you continue to use it as a shield, which is blocking you from doing the actual work. And so what's truly going to work are these things. Is number one is knowing who you are. So here's what I want you to journal. I am and a whole page. This is who I am. This is who I am. Here's the second page. It's going to be a little bit of a lengthier more tip, but if you really dive, dive deep into the sister, there's great value in this. Second part of this, the next page in your journal is this is, this is, oh, pardon me. So the first part of that, step one, I am and then write a whole page. Who are you? Who are you? I am. Step two. So the next part of this, which I just had said, is accept who you are. So what I want you to write at the top of that page is, this is awesome because. So part two, number one, I am, write a page. Page two, this is awesome because, write a page. Listen, you can become anyone who you want to become, but there's a core essence of who you are. And for a lot of you right now, this could be just you right now, sister, is you're fighting it. You're resisting it. You're numbing it. You're afraid of it.
Denying who you who you are needs leads to nothing good. So, this is awesome because. And step three is this. What is the one action that you will take as a result of this insight and knowing who you are? I am the two most powerful worlds in the planet. I am. And this is why it's amazing. Acceptance of who you are. So what is the one action step you will take in the next 24 hours? It is a measurable one. Not like, well, I'm going to feel better about this or I'm going to connect this. No, like a fucking thing where you could say, yes, I did it or no, I didn't. Like it's that black and white. You could check a box. Anybody looking from the outside would know exactly what it is. I sent an email. I made a phone call. I took this action. It's black or white. It's yes or no. What is the one action step you can take in the next 24 hours as a result of the insight of who you are and why this is awesome? Understanding who you are and acceptance of who you are. There's huge value in this. Here's here's the craziest shit. 99% of you will do fuck all with this right now. It's truth. 99% of you will do nothing. You'll go, oh yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm going to do that. Or... Yeah, I got all pumped up for the episode. It's on you. And there's been some of you have been following me for like two, three, five years online with my previous podcasts and on Facebook and everything else that I've produced and webinars and are still in the exact same place. And that's cool. If you want to stay where you are, like this is not a passive aggressive comment, like awesome. If that's clearly what you want, cool. But if you want more, which is what this podcast is about, which I'm fucking assuming that you do, then you better start taking some fucking action and stop talking about shit. And just shut your mouth and start moving. <laughs> Be like my four-year-old tells me. In a way, if he's saying, like, he can't hear something, he's trying to think, he'll be like, shut your mouth. I'll be like, Kai, what do you want, bud? Well, I can't hear Mickey Mouse. Or I'm trying to read the, or no, I'm saying to read because he's four. I'm trying to do this and I can't hear, you know. So I'm going to say it like Kai, shut your fucking mouth. This doesn't say fucking. Shut your fucking mouth and start fucking moving. Start taking action like a motherfucker. That's how shit's done. Not strategies of how to get back on track. Not tips on how to fucking manage your time. That is such bullshit. And you know, doubt, deep, doubt, deep down inside that that's just a, a, a hide behind activity. It's a reason you give yourself for not executing. Maybe today's the fucking day that you decide to show up and actually do it. But that is on you, sister. It's not on me. I give you all this shit for free. For free. All of my time and money and energy doing this podcast for fucking free for you. And you can take it as the information, as the value, as the content, as the gift that it is. Or you can just then you listen to it and just like put it aside, put it aside, put it aside. It's up to you. What will you choose today? What will you choose today? There's a lot of big questions like this that are going on in a brand new closed Facebook group I created called The Woman Wanting More Experience. If you want to request to be added to the group, there's now about 430, 35 in that group. And I'm dropping some stuff in there that I don't drop anywhere else. This is for some of you that are like, I don't have 47 bucks a month to join the sisterhood. Like, holy fucking God, you have big problems if you don't have a dollar fifty a day to invest in yourself. For reals. However, I'm fucking here for you. This is, I created this for you. Come request to be added to the group, the Women Wanting More Experience. So you can either just, just go onto Facebook, search, search it, Women Wanting More Experience. If you're on the Women Wanting More Facebook page, which you should, go ahead and fucking like it. It's attached to that group, attached to that page. You can also email me, Dr. Karen at drkarenalsworth.com and say, hey, please give me the link. I would request to be added to the group. Or if you were listening on your phone, which the majority of you are, click on the I on your iPhone, brings up the show note links. If it's a Samsung, I don't fucking know. However, it brings up the show notes. And you'll see the clickable link over there, right there to join the Woman Wanting More Experience. No excuse. More free. And the ability to access some amazing stuff that I have coming up from Women Wanting More. So, I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is one step away from me doing the fucking work every single day.
I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.